Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie and welcome to Music in the Mountains. Yeah, so we're here for the next three nights in a little town called Tupperwera in Nelson Lakes area. Hmm. Um, and we're going to be listening to some music and hanging out with some other people from the NZMCA. Yeah, so you've seen us go to a few of these um, NZMCA rallies before. This is the largest club run rally in New Zealand. So um, yeah, music. Last year, 600 and... 90 something caravans and motorhomes turned up pretty big event here um you're basically staying at an area school here eh? mm -hmm. and there's just music each in the afternoons and the evenings and a whole bunch of other stuff on for the weekend in this yep. tiny little town in the middle of nowhere really <laughs> <laughs> um but we kind of thought we'd we'd come along check it out um yeah see what it's got to offer Alright, well, good morning. Had a um, had a good night last night. Um, music went on quite late, but it was quite cool. Um, yeah, not normally the style of music I'd listen to, right? But pretty fun just to sit, sit there and soak up the atmosphere. Some people got a bit rowdy actually, it was quite funny. I saw a guy running around in a bra and women's underwear at one stage. Um, this morning there is actually a book sale here. So at the school that um, uh, area school, they put a bunch of sort of things on over the weekend like they have a bit of a coffee cake sale going on as well this morning and they have a book fair so um we're always keen for secondhand books uh, harvey's always you know keen to find some new famous five books and and chelsea and i've been reading lots actually since we've been on the road so always keen to get new books so um we're going to check it out it's only nine o'clock uh, this morning it's nine o'clock right now sorry um the fair runs all day but we thought get in there early and get the best books <laughs> so we're going to check that out and then now we're actually going live on YouTube which will be in the past now but you can see that live stream somewhere on the channel but uh, 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning we're going to try and go live and um, yeah have a chat to you guys. Look at all these books we got. Yeah. Some for Harvey. Some for Daddy. And some for me. So our novels were two dollars each. For me. Oh, that's my one. Two dollars each for a book, so I got about uh, okay, two weeks worth. Mom. And kids' books were five for a dollar, which is pretty good. That's going to last us till the next op shop, right? Look at all these. <laughs> you happy? Yeah. All right, time for the evening entertainment. So um, each night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night at seven thirty ish. They have uh, bands that go probably till 10, 10 Yeah, I think it was about 10.30 last night. Um, we left about nine o'clock, obviously to get the girls to bed, but pretty cool. You just take your chairs down, take your drinks down, and um, yeah, just sit down and listen to bands all night. It's quite quite a cool atmosphere, eh? It's really um, probably not my style of music, but pretty cool atmosphere. So we pop the girls in their pajamas, take a load of bananas down in case they get hungry, and. <laughs> And then they fall asleep in the pusher on the way home. Perfect. Sunday morning and we came down to the Hidden Sculpture Park just down the road from the Tupperware School. 
Um, there's a couple of artists that have their work on display here and it's a great big park that you walk around and it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so on the program today for Music in the Mountains there's a uh, Arts and Crafts Market, eh? Yep. Arts and Crafts Market and also the local rugby club do a bit of a fundraiser they put on like uh, barbecue and hot chips and that sort of thing that you can purchase as a bit of a fundraiser for the Tupperware a rugby club. So um, that doesn't start till 11.30 so we thought we'll come down, girls can stretch their legs and we'll check out this kind of random sculpture garden that's just on the side of the road in the yeah, just someone's farm really, in the middle of nowhere, but um, pretty interesting so far. Part of this gives me like real um, true detective vibes, you know, the TV show. Um, there's like stuff hanging up in the trees over here, kind of like one of the seasons there was things hanging up in the trees, but got a creepy swamp here, tons of cicadas in the air. It's, a, it's an interesting place. I think this is my favorite one here. It's called Babysitter, and it's a huge uh, ball with an opening in it, but it's made out of old saw blades. <laughs> it's like sharp and rusted, it's kind of terrifying. Had a fun time exploring that sculpture garden, bit random. Um, we didn't find the giant crocodile that people say you should look out for as well. Yeah. So. Don't know where that was in all the long grass. <laughs> um, we're gonna go and check out the craft fair now and hopefully find the stand that sells the hot chips. Yeah, so this is our backup bar water system basically and um, just two 23 litre jugs of water and then funnel down into the freshwater tank. This is our, uh, we can't be bothered moving the caravan close to a tap so we're going to cart some water and just fill up the tanks to get us an extra day. All right, our first music in the mountains done. Yep. Yeah, you like it? I did. It was really fun. Yeah. It's been really hot here, um, but kind of no wind, so awnings out, hanging out. Um, they opened the school pool. We didn't actually make it to the pool. <laughs> <I didn't know. laughs> they opened the school pool there for people to swim in during the day. Um, but really cool atmosphere. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I would say we're not the target age group no. for sure, <laughs> and uh, not many kids there. No. But um, everyone's super friendly. It's actually quite nice. Um, kind of sometimes we go to these events and we're like, oh, are people gonna be a bit grumpy about yeah. the kids. But they end up loving them, right? Um, yeah. And not to say that our kids are perfect, but you know, <laughs> they they really like to see. I guess our kids, you know, kids in general are, um, are the younger generation of the the motorhoming community. So um, people love to see them out and about. Most people do. Um, but yeah, cool vibe, eh? The school, yeah. the location is awesome. There's nothing else going on there. There's like a four square and a yeah. petrol station. It was very relaxed, yeah. chill. Everyone's on holiday, you know? It's just all cruisy and yeah. yeah. Come and go as you please. Yeah, and, um, yeah it was good. Mm. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, same with the music, eh? Probably not like the sort of music we'd listen to, but the sort of music you can just sit there and have a beer and like listen to. And, you know, and it was, it was fine. Um, we actually met another family. Um, a few moments later. Sorry, it's small domestic here between the <laughs> girls. Um, we actually met another family just down from us, um, staying in the same paddock, and uh, they've got two young girls as well. Yep, Mark uh, and Kim. Yeah. Two kids and a caravan. Yeah, they're two kids and a caravan on YouTube. Um, so pretty cool. We got to actually hang out with some kids Harvey's age. Yep. Um, he made some friends, and yeah. Kind of, kind of cool, eh? We're actually going to follow them now down to another spot that they've scoped out for the next few days, just down the road. 
a little spot by the river so we're going to go and hang out with them for a few days yeah um so that's pretty cool that was one of the things we wanted to do this year eh, was to make new friends and yeah. hang out with people like just go camping with people right and people that are passionate about camping as well so um yeah we'll go and hang out with them for a few days but i recommend it eh, if you haven't been before yeah, yeah. it was very fun yeah. they've got like a first time section as well so if it's your first rally then you can go along and everyone makes you feel really welcome yeah. and join in we weren't parked in that section but um <laughs> hmm. we've been to a few before but yeah a few of the people that we talked to that were in that area said it was a really great idea as a way of meeting new people and making new friends and everyone made you feel welcome and yeah cool vibe people came like some people came down from auckland for it uh, which is pretty crazy and from north of Auckland as well so definitely worth the trip and then make a holiday of it while you're down here like there's so many beautiful spots around here um, to travel to as well did you have fun? yeah? yeah you did cheeky and there's a playground in the school as well so perfect yeah. um, so the next video you're going to see from us we're going to uh, follow Mark and Kim down to this spot they've got uh, by the river we're going to have a lazy few days and then we're going to make our way to Nelson. Um, yep. We need to stay in a campground for a couple of days because we've got some parcels yeah. to receive. Yeah. Um, so we need an address. We need an address to, <laughs> <laughs> to receive some mail, receive our broken fridge vent, or a, a new one, an unbroken, a new one, uh, and also some parcels from home. So that's the plan there. So we'll see you in the next video. See ya. Ah, you wave. See ya. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs>